may adlaw na itong tanan. So now imagine, after having a stroke and your arm and hand got paralyzed, but you're able to improve faster, you're able to 10x your progress. Sounds impossible, but no. You now have a device that can help you 24-7, provided you charge it, okay? So in this video, I'm going to show you on how to use this robotic device in order to improve your hand function significantly quicker. Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm your occupational therapist. And my goal is to help you be more consistent with your therapy at home. If you or your loved one suffers from a stroke, traumatic brain injury, spinal cord injury, or other neurological disease, and they suffer impairment of hand function, meaning they're unable to use their hand, it causes significant pain and, and frustration because they're unable to participate or do their daily activities better. So daily and consistent practice of your therapy is very important in order to regain hand function. But if you don't have access to a therapist or you are unable to go to a clinic, then here comes a device that can help you do your therapy on your own and it won't get tired. All you have to do is to make sure that you have charged it. So enough talking, let me show you on how to use this device. All right, so this is what I'm talking about, the hand function rehabilitation training device. And like I said, this should not replace the necessity of going to a therapist for your therapy or for guidance on how to go about doing your rehabilitation for your hand function. This box would contain the brains. This is uh, what controls everything. And it will come with two gloves and a ball and other straps, okay? It will also come with a charger, a charging cable, and a block. So this is the mirror glove. This is what controls this for the second setting. There are three settings for this device, okay? So let me put this on first. And this is where you want somebody to help you put this on because this is a little difficult to put on by yourself. But that should not hinder you from using or getting one because this will really 10x your progress provided you already have a little bit of control or movement for that hand. It can also be used for somebody who just had the injury or you just had a stroke, Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis. This is also very beneficial for the first setting. All right, I'm going to show you the different settings and how to use it. So this is uh, the glove that you're going to put on the affected side. What I'd like to do is to put the fingers first, starting from the middle finger as an anchor, and then the rest of the fingers. If you start with the thumb, because like I said before, that the thumb is the key, it will be hard to put on the fingers. But before you use this, please do your therapy from the shoulder, elbow, wrist, and hand to make it more flexible, more mobile, so that you can do the rest of your therapy sessions easier. So after the fingers and the thumb, I'm going, you're going to secure the wrist part. Now the other straps will secure your thumb. So place the thicker one between the thumb and the index finger and to the wrist. And if you need the other straps, you can use it too. Okay. So this is how it would look like with the straps. Make sure that the things for the fingers are securely placed there and pulled towards the fingers. My affected side in this video is my left side. Again, I don't have a stroke, I'm a therapist and I'm showing you this device that could potentially help you faster recover your hand function. It looks like a robotic arm but it's not a robot. It doesn't have a head or a body, okay? And this is the controller. All right. So let's put this on first, okay? Out of the way so you can see the middle 
button is the power button. And we are on the first setting. So what it does it, it, is it passively opens and closes the glove. It opens and closes. Now it's opening on its own. I'm not controlling it. It is this device, okay? It opens and closes. It has nine levels for the intensity. So it will have the plus and the minus. So let's uh, make it stronger by pushing on the plus button. So now that's strong. That is when your hand is very tight, this will help you open much better. Now let's move on to the next setting, which is when you use the mirror glove, all right? Let's turn that off first. It will go on to a neutral position. So again, the box would come with a ball. Let me get other stuff that you need to practice more functionally with this mirror glove, all right? So I'll get back to you. So here are a few things that you might see at home that you can do or you can use for your therapy. So you need to uh, practice more functional movements such as holding a cup, holding a water container, maybe holding a hairbrush or a spoon, a fork, a mug, and to pretend like you're, you, you're holding a sandwich, maybe get you some sponges, all right? Let's turn this on for the second setting. So again, we're going to push on the power button, and then the first button here would change the setting. All right, so that's the second setting. This setting will allow you to use the mirror glove to open and close, see? Cool, cool, ain't it? Now when you release on the clicker, it opens it up. Now, let's uh, put that into test. Let's start with a bigger thing, a bigger surface to hold on to, okay? So, if your arm is not strong enough yet, just go closer to that object. Get closer or bring it towards you and then close. Okay? Might be also better if the position of the glove is the same as the position of your mirror glove. So if it's down, bring the mirror glove down to open and go slow too with your good hand, okay? Now let's uh, use a plastic cup. Let's try to grab the cup. Then bring it up to the other cup, all right? Now bring it up again to put it back on the table and release the clicker. It opens up the glove, all right? Let me put that away so you can see better. All right, again, approach the cup. It should close, boom. Pick it up if you can pick it up, but if you can't, just push it or pull it towards you and then open. Close. There you go, all right? Close. All right, so now you can use it for the other stuff, like a hairbrush, brush your hair, or a ball, squeeze ball. See, it holds it. It is strong enough where you, it, you are able to pick it up. All right, and release. And for a sandwich or a sponge, get close to it, boom, click, and bring it up to your mouth. Don't take a bite, all right? Please don't take a bite. That's not edible. The cool thing about this is that you can also isolate individual fingers. So what you wanna do, there are valves here. So. This is the open position. When you close it, you just twist it. So now what's open is 
the thumb and the index finger. All right, so let's turn that on. We are in the first setting. And it will close. Right? And open. Hold on, it's still closing. <laughs> and then it opens up. All right. Now let's try the second setting. For the second setting, we are going to use the uh, clicker or the mirror glove. See? Boom. And it opens. Okay, close, open. So what I, this does is it trains your brain or tricks your brain that it is moving on its own. So this will really help with the plasticity, neuropl the development of neuroplasticity in your brain. Okay, so now let's try to open up the middle finger. There we go click so it's just the index finger the middle finger and the thumb that open boom all right close so you can bring this with you wherever you want right if you're not embarrassed bring this with you wherever you want but around the house you can practice your more functional activities such as going to the bathroom that's where you can find your hairbrush or your toothbrush. And what's nice is you can charge this with a portable battery, but this does not come with the device. So you might have to purchase a separate thing here. So let me turn that on. That's on and turn on the device. See, it charges using a portable charging battery. So. We're going to, let me close this up again. Let me close it up. So again, this is the closed position. The only part that moves is the thumb now, so I forgot. So keep that open. Let's open the rest like that. And it passively opens and closes. Now you go to the next setting. Again, you're able to use the entire glove since all digits are open oh my pinky was partially closed all right so now we are in the second setting clicker again grab that hairbrush in the bathroom this time and then brush your hair all right or go to your kitchen get you a cup practice holding that cup or reaching for that cup and holding it okay open reach for that cup close it and bring it to your mouth. So this is a cool thing about this de device. It's not very heavy. Put it in a backpack or a school bag or a shoulder bag and bring it wherever you want to go and practice using the device or how to use your hand again, all right? The more that you use this, the better so that your brain can develop neuroplasticity. The third setting is where it would practice or it will train your hand and strengthen it. Train the hand for the coordination. Go to the next setting again. Push on that first button. So when you are in the third setting, when the glove closes, try to open your hand. Okay? And when the glove opens, that's when you try to close your hand. This will strengthen your grip strength and your extensors so the muscles for the extensors are the back the back part of your forearm so now it's open let me close it that works the front and when it's closed try to open your hand you can feel it there's a lot of resistance so it is now opening i will try to close it so now it's open <laughs> when it's closed now try to open so it's all it pra it trains you for your coordination so it's open let me close it now it's closed let me open okay so it trains both sides so it's now open I'm going to now close this again you can increase the intensity by pushing on that plus button it has nine levels of intensity so 
So now it's closed. Let me try to open. When it's open, try to close your hand. This trains your strength and your coordination. So this is how you use a the hand function rehabilitation training device. All right. So just be consistent. Do the other exercises after this. Try to practice about 10 minutes to start with. If you can tolerate 20 minutes, that is also good. Start with two sessions every day and go around the house. If you have good balance, ask for help in putting on the gloves, including the mirror glove. After that, your family or friends can go about their daily activities and go to work, whatever. But again, do these exercises. Uh, try to practice with this after you are doing your, uh, after you are done doing your shoulder, your elbow, wrist, and hand. Okay. So this should not replace the necessity of getting a therapist or going to a therapist. Bring this with you. They will be so happy that you have this device and you can, the possibilities are endless on what activities you're going to do. And you will get that progress, that hand function 10 times faster. I guarantee you that provided you practice this every day. Okay. So let me get closer. Practice this every day. And by the way, I'm going to do the attendance check. So attendance check, type down below, progress. Again, progress. We're claiming progress, okay? And just a reminder, consistency is the key. And never give up. Until next time. Bye, love.